So we're finally leaving 2020 behind and we're kicking off 2021 and as we do so I want you to have the best salon marketing animation to make this a big year for you and your salon business. So in this video I'm gonna cover five salon marketing ideas that are rocking it in 2021. So if this is the first time we meet, my name is John Halberg and I run this YouTube channel as well as the blog at thesalonbusiness.com and this is where I share the best ideas, strategies to help you grow your salon business, spa business or barbershop. So if you run that type of business and you want to grow, hit that subscribe button to not miss out every time I share new videos and ideas on this channel. So if you've been following this channel for a while, you may have noticed that I did a similar type of video last year where we covered the best marketing ideas for 2020. Now, what you will get today, there will for sure be similarities, but a lot of things also changed in 2020. I'm sure you will agree with me. So there's also some new stuff coming in here in, in this video. Uh, and I will start with some of the more basic stuff and then towards the end you will also get some more like new and exciting ideas for you to take on and implement in your business. Salon marketing idea number one, deliver top service experience. So before you hit the back button thinking like, okay, this guy doesn't have anything new to bring to the table. Of course you're doing good service already. I just wanted to make sure that we kind of have that as the top of this list of the best marketing activities uh, because it's fundamental, right? If you're not having good customer satisfaction scores, if people are not like happy and you're not delivering the perfect quality service and an experience that they enjoy, you know, you will not get those like customer reviews. Uh, you will not get that word of mouth marketing that you need and so on. So. I just wanted to take that at the top of the list because right now I think the internet is flooded with like different marketing strategies and tactics being talked and it's easy to get lost and that we spend too much time on something that is not uh, driving our business the most. So I think this is just fundamental. You know, we will cover also in this video more activities and ideas and there's a lot more you can do to maximize the impact of those positive clients but it all starts with the service experience that you deliver. So salon marketing idea number two that is rocking it in 2021 is to clarify your salon's positioning, basically your brand positioning. So what I'm talking about here is being very clear on how your business and what you do is different from other similar businesses in the area. Because if you're not clear on that, uh, your clients will not be clear on that. And the only way that you know, potential new clients can kind of compare you to others will be to look at your price. And that's kind of the only way kind of you differentiating yourself is via price. So, you know, salon owners who would find themselves in this situation would start to believe like the only marketing activity that is working for me now is price promotions. That seems to be the only thing that is, that is you know, bringing pe people in. And, you know, entering into that downward spiral of giving away too much, you know, discount and so on, you know, comes with a number of different benefits. It hurts your profitability, so you can't reinvest in your business properly. Uh, it dilutes your overall price list and image. And, you know, there, there's a lot of things that are, that are negative with that. So, so we want to avoid that. And that really starts with finding, like, your unique angle. How are you different versus other similar businesses in the area? But this is, this is not just about pricing. Uh, it also comes down to your marketing. So if you have an angle that is unique for your business that you're taking, that gives people a reason to talk about you. Like there's nothing interesting in just talking about a hair salon, right? But if there's a, a hair salon that have a certain angle, they're doing something different, they're using a certain type of product or they're using a certain technique or whatever it might be uh, that you're doing that is different from other businesses in the area, that gives people a reason to talk about you and both you and I know how important word of mouth marketing is and that really starts with your brand and giving you know, people a reason to be talking about you. Uh, so if you're a member of the Attract program, uh, you know, the salon marketing program that I run, you're probably not surprised to hear me bring this up because this is a topic that I'm banging on about 
a lot, uh, you know, with attract members. It's a big focus also in the in the attract program because it is like really foundational uh, and really important that we get this uh, that we get this right. But is this a marketing idea? You might ask. Ah, not really. This is more about brand strategy than a marketing idea, but it is foundational and it will support all other marketing activities that you do. So I hope you're okay that I kind of sneak that into this list uh, because for sure it will help you as you kind of start to think about that, start to think about your unique position. So salon marketing idea number three, show up when people are looking for what you offer. Like the opportunity here is massive. Uh, and most likely your competitors down the road are not doing that of a great job with this. At least that's my experience. So let me tell you a little bit more uh, about what I mean with this and spend a little bit more time here to make sure, you know, we're on the same page. So to start, there's two types of marketing really. One marketing is a search based marketing, which means that someone is looking for a solution to their problem and you show up, you know, it's based on kind of the client or the prospective client being the one kind of uh, out there searching and looking for solutions. And the other one is activity based, meaning kind of you're putting out an Instagram post or you're sending out an email or, or something similar like that. Uh, now the, the benefit of using kind of search based marketing uh, where you get, get discovered when people are looking for your solution is first of all your time. So naturally like activity based marketing is based on activity. So it means you need to do something. You need to like take a picture, write a caption, post, you need to write that email, whatever. It's like an activity every time you do it and it typically lives for like 24 hours or like a few days and then it's gone and no, no one will ever see that again. Whereas search based marketing, means that you do a little bit of work right now to kind of make sure you get discovered when people are looking for you or what you offer. And when you've done that, that will serve you for a year. So you don't really need to think about that. You might go in and to update a few things and so on, but that's it. Uh, it serves you for a long time. So, you know, time is a big thing and why I'm putting this high on this list, why uh, this is something to prioritize. And uh, the other part is that when someone is like searching uh, for a solution to their problem and they find your solution, the likelihood that they will become a customer is very high. You know, they already have their problem. They just need a solution and you happen to be there with a the solution. Like the likelihood for them to turn into clients is very high. If you compare that to more like activity based, you know, you're sending out an email where you need to kind of convince that person that yes, remind them that they have the problem and that you have the solution. Like, you know, the number of people you need to reach that way will be significantly higher in order for them to kind of convert into a customer, you know, so that would be on your Instagram or your email or these all these like more activity based um, solutions. So the opportunity is insane for a business like yours. Like if you compare to all the activity that you need to put in uh, in other types of marketing activities, you know, with very little effort, you can achieve a lot via this search based approach. And in fact, like my business is all based on this. Like I'm getting millions of people every year to my website through search. You don't need that. Like you don't need that amount of people. All you need is a few people every day who discover you based on the problem that they have and where you show up in the right way with the solution in order for this to be a you know, a marketing activity that just runs in the background for you without you really needing to, to think about it. So why are so few salons and salon owners not paying more attention to how they show up in search when people are looking for what they offer? Uh, I've been thinking a lot about this uh, and I've, my hypothesis here is that it comes down to one thing. So let me talk very straight with you. Um, I think this comes down to ego. So if you compare like search based marketing to more like activity based, uh, you don't have that instant gratification that feeds your ego uh, on search as you would have on social media. Like when you put something out on social media, uh, you get you know, likes, you get comments immediately, which is very re rewarding for you. Uh, whereas if you do something on search, 
like that takes time you you do you do a bit of work and you put that out and uh, like the fastest would be roughly a week before you start to see some traction on some of the activities there's other activities you can do to show up on search which can take months until you actually see the benefit of that so you don't have that like instant gratification and uh, that you get when you kind of post on social media or do some other more like activity based marketing so that's one the other thing is like on search take google again um there's no followers right you cannot follow someone on google which you can do on social media and that has become like this metric that people keep looking at as if like followers would be an indication if my marketing is good and if uh, you know my success in business or if that's going to help me grow we look at followers uh, but it doesn't really matter your followers it all depends on the quality of your followers and and a lot of other things so i think you know that has just become a metric to feed the ego like a lot of people are following me that must mean that uh, you know i'm popular and that i'm good but really when it, when we look at you know what translates into business that might be something completely else so you know those are just my theories behind why salons in general do not prioritize search as high as it should be prioritized and why it is a very big uh, opportunity so uh, I'm gonna lead you through like or just take you through a quick exercise that you can do to get going and to start improving your search performance just head over to Google type your business type meaning like hair salon or nail salon near me uh, into Google and you'll see what comes up or try to type in one of your services that you offer uh, put that into Google and search what comes up you know Pay attention to how well are you displayed on that first page because uh, you know if you're not displayed very well only like you know very little that probably means that you have a big opportunity here uh, to go after in order to uh, you know market your business more effectively and something that you should pay attention to so you know look at how well you're showing up and also pay attention to what is it that is coming up and, and think about what can you do to make sure that you're the one that is being displayed when people are looking for what you offer in your area okay so as you can tell I'm, I'm quite excited about this topic like with branding it's another one uh, where we focus a lot on in the attract salon marketing program in fact i do have a new course coming up that also like leads you through the process on how you really do this how you get good visibility when people are looking for what you offer uh, that is coming out right now so you know if you want to learn that you should certainly check that out and i will be leaving a link in the description below to the attract program so that you can find out more details uh, you know if you want to learn how to do that because that's really all you need you need to just know the process for doing it and then just go do it and uh, you know you will be able to get a good display to get much more people discovering you finding your business and doing business with you uh, so and that all happening kind of in the background without you paying so much attention so very powerful uh, so that's what I wanted to share in this idea. So salon marketing idea number four that is rocking it in 2021 is to obsess about reviews. So if you've been in this business for a while, I'm sure you'll agree with me that like word of mouth marketing is important. And you're probably also aware that there's platforms online where people can leave a review and leave a comment about how it was you know being at your location being served at your location like you want those you want a lot of those and you want to have the right ones the positive ones right so the reason why this is so important is you know reviews a they help convince other people right who don't yet know your business and they really have no reason to trust that you will be the right place to go to like reviews is what they will read uh, to see if if you know if you if you can deliver what they want so it's important to help convince people but it's not only that like reviews is also helping the algorithms helping like the search spiders of the web you know basically the machine to understand that your business is someone to care about that because people are talking about it people are saying things about you and um, so and when people do you know these algorithms sees that and they see that you're legit that you're credible 
and they will start promoting you as well. So it's not only to help convince people, but it's also to help convince the search engines and to help, you know, convince the algorithm to, to show you how. So this is really important and, and really something that I would strongly recommend you make part of one of your focus areas for 2021 to, you know, start asking for reviews and making sure that you get the positive reviews. Now there's ways that you can automate this, uh, you know, so for sure start with just asking people to leave a review, right? But there, there's many more ways that you can automate this to make this process more streamlined and also to help you making sure that you capture, you know, the positive reviews and you don't get bad reviews, uh, you know, on online for your business, which is not, is not great, right? So you want to have the, the positive reviews. And uh, so there's ways you can do that. Naturally, that is also something that we'll cover uh, we will be covering inside the attract program as well, but you know, just start with that. Just you know, start with the habit of collecting reviews, and that will already be a very good start. So, salon marketing idea number five that is rocking it in 2021 is to make sure you have a process to deliver value on social media. Now. I'm bringing social media up as actually the fifth point in this list, right? And that's not at all because I don't think social media and Instagram is the right place for you to be at. In fact, Instagram in particular is wonderful for a business like you. In particular, if you're a salon that is delivering like visual transformation, like what you're doing is like you create, you have the opportunity to create so much valuable content in that type of business that people will you know want to see in their feed right which you know we shouldn't forget because that's really a, a luxury if you compare that to other local businesses like i don't know the the local plumber you know i i probably wouldn't want to have uh, his pictures coming up in my instagram feed right but you know you're on a salon there's so much content that people will be interested in so for sure this is an important place for you to uh, to capitalize on okay so rather than kind of uh, like giving you just one specific idea i want to share two principles uh, that i think are important when we talk about uh, social media uh, and uh, you know the number one thing is to make sure that you're delivering value on social media meaning like you know what you're posting is valuable to people because when you do that that's what your followers want to see and it's also what the algorithm wants to see like they want to see that people are enjoying your content because only then will they start to show your content to more people right so it's really important and again there's so much room when you run a salon business to create that type of content that brings value so you can you know create inspirational content by sharing you know before and after pictures sharing end results, looks. I mean, there, there's so many things you can do to create inspirational content. You can create educational content, kind of what I'm doing here right now, right? But you could do that with your expertise in the topic, you know, that your salon is focused on and where you have expertise. Or you can create entertaining content, which is just letting people in on like all the crazy stuff that I know is happening, you know, in your business, letting people see that as well and uh, to create some entertaining, uh, entertaining content. You know, there's many ways that you can make sure that the content that you put out there is creating value because your subscribers or followers will want to see that and the algorithms will love you for it and you will get more visibility. Um, and then the other part is to make sure that you have a process in place for social media. Because one thing that is important to acknowledge is that the social media platforms they are designed to get people to spend as much time as possible on these platforms. And they're using like powerful, like psychology and uh, activities to make that happen, you know, to feed kind of our reward system and so on, to want us to spend more time on these platforms. Because in the end, that's the, how they make money, right? The more time you spend on their platform, the more ads they can show you. And that's how they make money. So they just want you to spend as much time as possible. And that's the big risk with social media, that it can be a time sucker, that it takes up too much of your time with you know, limited business uh, result. So you need to be very strategic about this and make sure you use the platform to your advantage, uh, which basically means that 
you know, what I would encourage you to do is to, you know, carve out the time so that you sit down and you plan out the content that you want to be posting. Also to make sure that you're posting about all the relevant things that you want to cover. Um, and also that you have the time where you, where you go and you batch create your content. So it's not just like on the go every time, oh, coming up with a new caption or whatever it might be, but you kind of sit down and you create your content, you know, a lot of content at the same time, because that would be much more time efficient than kind of doing it and restarting ad hoc on the go all the time. And then that you use, uh, you know, an, a scheduler if it's not built into the platform that you're using. So something where you can upload, you know, the post that you want to share in advance, and you know that then goes up through the full months and you don't need to be there like all the time posting and, and so on uh, but th that you have you know part of that automated uh, so those will be the two important principles that i just want to share here make sure that what you're posting is valuable your followers will like it the algorithms will like it and the second part would also be to make sure you have a process for how you do that so that you don't get sucked into spending the time on so much time on the platform which is what those platforms want you to do now if you're finding what i'm sharing here helpful i, I will strongly recommend you to go to the salonbusiness.com slash attract because uh, that is uh, you know where i teach this in much more depth like all the ideas and stuff that we've been going through there's so much more naturally to be said about that than what I can fit into a YouTube video. So, you know, in the Attract program, I'm really leading you through more like, you know, step by step, helping you to also prioritize, you know, what I would recommend that you that you focus on first, because that is the main challenge when it comes to marketing today. It's not that it's not enough ways that you can market your business, because there's a lot of ways and many of them are good, you know, for, you know, different reasons and so on. It's more about you having the right focus, making sure that you're focusing in on the right thing at the right time and that you have the knowledge to make sure that you can do all of those things in, a, in an as time efficient way as possible. So that's really what you know, I want you to consider is like the time investment versus what you're getting out as a kind of a general rule of thumb in 2021 when we talk about marketing and when we talk about where you should be spending your time. So. You know, that's really, you know, what you would get inside of the Attract program. So what I want you to say, what I want to say as well is that Attract is still young. So it's still a new program. There's new like courses and stuff being added uh, all the time, which also means that like when you join now, you will join at a lower rate than what the program will ever be in the future. So, you know, as more content is on is being added, the price will continue to go up. So, you know, you shouldn't rush in, into this. Go check it out. See if it's something that you feel is valuable and that can help you in your business. I just want to say, like, don't wait too long because then, you know, the price might be higher when, when you join. So that's just something for you to have in mind. I hope you enjoy that video and the ideas and the tips that I've been sharing with you today. And I hope I will see you inside the Attract program or in an upcoming video here on the channel.